Come on, Whiskey, I'll show you where it is. Okay. Did you call me Whiskey? I did. Do you like it? I'm trying out nicknames. Okay. Oh, Philip, you are so observant of everything around you. And yet, like everyone else around you, you don't see something until it's too late. is a figure of blue uh, wearing a a red uh, dress and their their blue skin is uh, immaculate and their hair is blonde and their eyes are white just white but it's like like a hot sun is white that is what she looks like they stand there uh, and you can see that there are stumps where wings should be. Scrawny soldier um, who's like just barely gotten out of bed is like, what, what, what? You're not a threat. And I, I like, I like look around and say, <laughs> well, I guess similar to you, I was hoping to dispatch some humans, but I wasn't able to. Were they dispatched? something wrong with that, and I point to Riptide, who is like, <laughs> kind of just skittering in place. Oh. But, I'm unsure. It could be myself, but that seems unlikely as I was made to be perfect. Philip is just gonna kind of like grab him by the scruff bin and fly up <gasps> and he's just got these golden eyes staring at him and uh, Philip is going to say I remember when God breathed life into you and the only thing I had to worry about was how to tear you apart there is a universal truth that humans often have a hard time accepting which is that most problems can be cleansed with fire. I ask you, what can I do to put you in a position that causes the most efficient loss of life? You tell me that you're not sure that you want to do that, but you also want to make sure that no one like you has to suffer the way that you have. If we kill all the hunters, then how will you be hunted? As this energy just builds up inside of him and it builds up louder and louder and it just explodes in a bright light as you just see him uh he now looks like has like this dark aura just whipping around him but at the center of his chest you see this black swirl just constantly swirling inward and to lay low if they know anything about us they just know where they just know the kid is special. They know that I'm a star and they know two of them are prized. Okay. Okay. Fine. That's going to be fine. That's going to have to be fine. We'll we'll deal with it when we'll, we'll deal with it. It feels like this is going to bubble up eventually, but we'll deal with it like we always have. With it, I'm going to look over at speaker box, uh, and, and just go. Uh, <sighs> this is why they were after me. And as that, uh, as I as I finish saying that, you see, sort of uh, um, his his lim uh, Alice's limbs start to grow in size, and. The, the skin starts to tighten against the muscle up until it bursts, revealing not muscle, but a metallic framework underneath. Both, both the arms and the, and the hands explode into these massive claws. And is that what happened the first time? Yeah, I think so. It's, it's all a blur. It all happened so fast. Last time I could, I could hear things from farther away. I could start... It was just so much sense 
right. all at once. It's it, it was hard hard to keep it all in, on track. I tried to find the doctor, and then there was the there was the guards, and then I just remember running. Sister, why would you lie to us? And I gesture to Philip. I wanted to know where you stood in regards to this fight. I know where Philip stands. But I have been on this earth for a very long time fighting with fighting with Speaker Box. It shows, sister. My readings detect that I'm still on Kayleen. Star, where have you been? That's a long story. Uh, the most I could say is that after the last big battle, I went into hiding. Yeah. That explains why you do not know. Do you not know about the others? 